There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. How is everybody doing today? The Ruckus Crawler here, aka the Rolling Stoner, and I got you all with me with the Killer B running the OG. Oh, look at that, we got a little twig stuck already. So, yeah, I kind of got the afternoon off. It's not super sunny, but it ain't super cloudy either. So, we are just gonna get out and get our crawl on, starting with a little, little trail, a little trail to the lake. Hey, we'll do a little lakeside crawl today. Oh, damn, a little, a little rock on the trail on the way in. So I did bring the Ram Charger with me, but unfortunately, I don't know, something's going on with its electronics. It was just stuck on full throttle and the steering was cranked over to one side and no matter how I tried to trim it, it just wasn't not doing that. So, all good, at least we always got Old Faithful with us here. Trail in a 24, it's something we don't do very often, that's for sure. As much as I do love these little guys, they're not, not so much for the trailing, they're more just for finding a pretty sweet spot to crawl at. I think that's what we found here. But you know, we're not getting airdropped down. We gotta crawl in, crawl in and find out what's going on. These ginormous pine cones and leaves here. Getting that much closer to the destination. So I have to say too, we are right next to a highway right now. So when editing this video, if there's just too much traffic sound and other stuff, I'll just make this a shut up and crawl. So if that be the case, enjoy the rest of the crawl. But if that not be the case, then well, I mean, y'all get to listen to me ramble on which is funny it's something you know you get mixed mixed feelings on so let me know in the comments below what do you prefer do you want me to just shut up let some music play and do some crawling or do you, do you like the banter huh do you like the ruckus banter <laughs> I'm, I'm here to please i mean really i guess i should be making a mixture of both types of videos it's all good it's all good all right we're just getting closer to this lake here, so let's just, you know, cut here and catch you at the lake. Alright, we're getting close to that lake and we are at the bedrock. scoped out a route I'd like to try. If we are successful, I'd like to turn around and try to make it right back up.
this out. Get to see those beautiful colors on that body. Ooh, that body. <laughs> so I guess here, you know, you already start basically on the top. So this would be a summit location. Yeah, just looking out over the lake. Just freaking gorgeous with the killabee. Stop for a nice boating opportunity. Yeah, it's time to carry the on. We can get off here without falling off. That would be nice. <coughs> Excuse me. That three flow nine. Skid plate and steering arm doing its thing. All right, so let's see. I don't know if this is reasonable to get down or get up, but we're gonna try. I'll tell you that we are gonna try. I think the killer bee can do it. At least going down. I think we can probably even make it up too. Oh, this part still has a big drop. Oh! All right, we'll pop those the crawler there. That's all good. We are gonna try that one again. I think if I give it a kick right at the right moment, it won't tumble. Boom. And off we go, continuing down. Whew. So am I, gotta make sure I got my footing here before backing up too far. Pretty cool. Definitely a 124 scale mountain action going on here. Ooh. And yeah, easy peasy to get down. Will it be as easy peasy to get back up? I don't know. But let's see what else we can find down here. Give me a moment, Terry. Scope out a line and we'll get back at it. Ooh, yeah, there's gonna be some stuff down there. Right, well, yeah, there is definitely a lot going on here with the old bedrock ski. Not like a ton of super challenging lines or like, you know, that combo of where it's too challenging, but there's some nice stuff. We'll be able to get ourselves right down to the water's edge and hopefully be able to crawl our way all the way back up. Making this a 124 scale adventure. this up, but we'll give it a go on the way back out, no freaking doubt. <laughs> yeah, we made it down. We are on the water's edge right down here, I tell you. I tell you what. Really hope that fly sky don't give out and send me into the water. Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, a lakeside crawl with the Killabee. So we got a difficult line. Basically I'm gonna to try to make it back up the way we came down. Uh, but if that doesn't work, there is a more scale route that we can take. So just give it a go and fuck around and find out. Yeah, it feels like this is gonna be a bit much to try and climb up without a winch or anything. So 
much a killer bee can do. Yeah. All right, so it's one of those situations where I'm always like, the killer bee don't need no winch. It don't need no winch until it does, eh? <laughs> Isn't that how winches work? So I mean, yeah, a killer bee be killing a lot of deadly lines, but I mean, there's only so much you can do. I mean, we're still just a four wheel drive with suspension and you know, physics, gravity, geometry, and all that crazy jazz. That's all good. We got another scale route to get out of here. And then we'll just get back up to that bedrock section because there is a little a couple lines I want to try over there. Ooh, a little difficulties here maneuvering through. It's all good. Hey, we're making it. Hey, we're making it. We're making it scale too. That's all that really matters, right? As long as we can make it out without a hand of God, that's all we can really ask for, isn't it? Feels like that's all we can really ask for. All right. I don't know if this line's gonna be a feasible, but we're gonna feeze it. Ooh, get a little tipsy here myself. Oh, look out. Look at that. I think we can do it. Nice. That is a pretty good step up for a little 24, I gotta say. I gotta freaking say. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool little, little lakeside crawl we got going here. I've been here a few times during the summertime for swimming, of course, and then, you know, this is one of those spots. You get these hot rocks in the sun, like, it's a popular location for some swimming. Can't really blame people, so I don't usually get to crawl down here. But when I decided to come out for a crawl today, I was like, oh yeah, it's a bit chilly. We're not really in the summer yet. I mean, there's a good chance nobody is even here. Got some people fishing on the other side. We're crawling in here. Just because, you know, it's a crawler and we gotta try it. We're gonna try to get up here. I don't know if we can do this one though. <laughs> Stand tall. Stand tall, killer bee. Stand tall. All right, let's see if we can get another crack at this here. Feels like we can get the driver's side up into that crack there. We might be able to pull the back up. I don't know. We're getting into some pretty moon buggy -ish stuff now. Yeah. I think our, our huge tired monster crawler, mini monster crawler is just, hasn't got the capabilities for that one. Just as soon as one tire starts think sinking, the rest of it starts stinking. Can we get out of here though? Oh yeah. Let's we'll just carry on. We got other stuff to go check out. Crawl around down in here. Oh yeah. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't all.
got some tire flying. There it is. It touches back down. And we get to just carry the frick on. Carry the frick on, yo. <laughs> or there, Daffodil. Daffodilio. So pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. 324s. The Jeep is still broken down, so I just got to throw this bad boy in my backpack, hop on the motorcycle, ride to this awesome lake, and get my freaking crawl on. I just love it. Look at that. That's a pretty cool little climb there. Let's see. How can we get up in here? Hey, how can we get up in here? Got an idea. See if we can get up this, this incline here. Not quite biting enough, but we can pull up and get up over that little lip down there. I think we can do it. We, we ain't flipping back. That's a good sign. That grip. Come on, small kings. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy! That was a pretty sweet climb right there. Wee-hee! Alright, we'll just keep it rolling up here and see. There's still a couple more lines I would like to try, so let's just, let's just keep it rolling. Hey, let's keep this rolling. It's supposed to be just rain, rain, rain for the next solid week after today, so perfect time to be able to get out and enjoy the sun when we've got it. Oh my god, I can't see it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. It's funny this spot here is kind of making me think of uh, that's my, my goal for when we find a new place and I can build another crawling spot is I really love to build like this monster section that's full of switchbacks and make it, you know, like a legit freaking crawling trail. Would be dope. As dope as climbing right up this freaking rock. But before we head back up and out of here, there's just this, this big rock right here. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's going to be challenging or nothing, but man, is that not a beautiful piece of bedrock. And damn, well, I want to just climb up it. So usually, you know, to climb up something, you got to climb down. set and we will get our climb out of here all right well making our way back up and out now i'd say this has been a pretty damn good adventure wouldn't y'all wouldn't y'all yeah 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 i just love bedrock <laughs> like stacking rock is fun making obstacles is a lot of fun but it's just something about showing up taking advantage of the old mother nature's design like freaking mountain here all right so this is the one spot in here i'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to make it up this can we keep it scale we'll see if we flip out we can try getting up there i'm sure we'll be able to get up there Nice. 
come on. It's like as soon as you see that front wheel hook over, it doesn't mean you got it, but you know there's a chance at least. So I'll tell you what, we're just gonna try to get our passenger side up on this dirt here a bit more. Ooh, but then we're sinking driver's side if we do that too much. Hey, the tip for tat. The tip for tat of crawling. Yeah, hmm. Okay. Well, what if we kind of hook it over this way a bit more and then kind of steer into it? Dude, this ain't quite getting what we need. Oh, big hit, big hit. Oh, okay, let's just keep it rolling while we're flipping and tipping. Yeah, too bad. I don't know, I'm not saying it can't be done. I ain't saying it can't be done, but I don't know if I got it in me, son. Wow. Should we just try the Boncos? There's no way we're making it up this. Yeah, there's just no way. No. <laughs> All right, well, I was hoping to make it up through the center where we came down. Let's just try to make it up this huge bedrock slab. It seems like that's a little more, more reasonable of a, a task here. Oh yeah, not a problem. Not a freaking problem. Oh yeah, she gets steep up at the top though. Hey, no doubt about that, eh? Oh yeah. Looks like we have some fishing line in the axle. I'm gonna take care of that and we'll be right back. All right, we're able to get that fishing line out of there and, you know, keep it as scale as we can with getting an al alternative route and still making the climb out on our own. That's all we can ask for. Oh, recovery. Let's just try that again, because this is a cool little line through here. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't hit the three flow nine. That one hit right on the steering arm. <laughs> What's your solution for that one, the three flow nine? <laughs> Boom. Making it up. That freaking gorgeous lake just laking it up. <laughs> Look at this. Can we ride it down? <laughs> it looked like the rear was about to slip. And if that happened, it would have been game over. Game over. So damn, we got tons of GoPro batteries. But I only got two batteries for the little guy right now because all the stock ones just didn't survive the last two winners. So, yeah, we are climbing out, though. We'll make it out. We'll make it out, no problem. And hopefully, for next week, I'll have another cool, different location crawling for y'all. Because I'd love, while well, I'm out and about today, to get a few videos knocked out. It's a plan, you know, I keep talking about, oh, I'm just gonna make a couple, like, you know, I'm gonna make my video shorter, more manageable, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. I just can't do it. I just can't do these little five minute videos. Like it needs to be an adventure. Whether it's in the backyard or not, we need to get out and adventure. And that my friends is what we have done today. So damn, I am the Ruckus Crawler, AKA the Rolling Stoner. And I just, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you checking out the video. I appreciate you. Even if you didn't check it out, I mean, you wouldn't be hearing this, but I just appreciate everybody. Cause everybody gotta be somebody. <laughs> that has nothing to do with all that I'm saying, but 
just know that you are appreciated. And if not by me, by somebody else out there. And just, yeah, you know, you gotta be good. You gotta be good to yourselves and be good to each other. You gotta get out there. You gotta enjoy that time you got. I say you gotta, and you know, free will is a fickle thing because you just, you don't gotta. But believe me, you'd be doing a lot better if you did. So yeah, like I say, I am the Ruckus Crawler, AKA the Rolling Stoner. And this has been a Killaby Lake Day. So I hope you all be good. And I hope to catch you all on the next video. We're trailing ourselves out of here. Trail in, trail out. No doubt. All right. I'll catch you all on the next one. I'll pay. What is going on, everybody? The Ruckus Crawler here, AKA the Rolling Stoner. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe, hit the like on this video. Leave us a comment, comments are always welcome. And if you're thinking to yourself, damn Ruckus, what the hell are you wearing there? That is one badass shirt. Well, we got ourselves some merchandise. So if you're interested in the shirt, Please leave a comment below or email me at theruckuscrawler at gmail.com. Uh, $40 shipped anywhere in North America. If you're outside of North America, just let me know. We'll figure out what the shipping difference is and we'll get it out to you. I also got stickers of the same design, so we'll do $10 sticker packs. So yeah, please, if you want to help support the channel, this is a direct way you get yourself a badass shirt and any bit of profit will be going straight into the crawlers. So yeah.